Golden State Warriors add some depth to the bench here, and they signed Dante DiVincenzo to a two-year, $9.3 million deal. So last season between the Milwaukee Bucks and the Sacramento Kings for DiVincenzo, nine points a game, four rebounds, 2.8 assists, 1.1 steals a game, 1.8 threes a game, and an awful 35% from the field to the Warriors. They lost a few decent pieces over the first couple days here of free agency. Toscasco Anderson going to the Lakers. Gary Payton to the Trailblazers, and Otto Porter to the Toronto Raptors. So they got to build up this bench a little here. And they got a guy who could shoot the three ball, no doubt about it, with Di Vincenzo. And last season, his numbers were definitely down from the 2020-21 season here. But now he goes to the Warriors, and he's a guy that's going to come off the bench and probably take Gary Payton's role as a guy who probably play 15, 18 minutes a game, could shoot the three ball better than Payton. But obviously his defense isn't like Gary Payton. In terms of fantasy basketball, I don't think he'll have enough value to be rostered pretty much all season here is Dante DiVincenzo. But he's, if you want him on your team, you take a late-round flyer on him. He's going to hit the three ball. He's going to get some playing time, especially as a guy that can hit a three in that Golden State system like we've seen over the years now for almost a decade that that's how they play. The three ball is the main component of their offense, and DiVincenzo fits that coming off the bench. So Dante DiVincenzo signs with the Golden State Warriors, and we'll see if he could have a bounce-back season in the upcoming 22-23 NBA season.